gonna share with you that one thing that I do with my skin to prevent these fine lines from creeping in and these nasty sunspots right here from coming in even further and making them stay away. That will make you scream. <laughs> oh, but 90% uh, of you guys are probably not doing it and it is not what you think. yourself so what's the number one thing mommy tell us okay so that one number one thing that I do 365 days a year and I put it on this precious face and my brother hates it absolutely hates it and he screams when I put it on in the morning but mommy's like uh-uh-uh you have to say like that because else you're gonna get burned and you're gonna get more of these like dots all over your face yeah those are some sunspots and you guys are Irish so you guys can't take it <laughs> it'll burn one day right where's Terrible. But let's get into it. Okay, um, so uh, we know that Hawaii banned sunscreen uh, in their state and it's one of the first states that banned sunscreen. Why? Why are they banning sunscreen? Because it's cancerous. We have tourists going into the water and they have a little bit of sunscreen on them. Well, not a little bit, but a little bit of it leaks into the water and it's killing the marine life. But imagine what it's doing to us. So let's break it down. Exactly why is sunscreen so dangerous and why am I putting it on my baby? If, you know, but let's get down to it, okay? So sunscreen, um, there's two types of sunscreen. Physical sunscreen and chemical sunscreen. Physical is titanium dioxide, which is physical. It sits on the surface of your skin like clothing, right? It sits on the top of your surface. So when the ray comes and it hits, it doesn't penetrate whatsoever. Sunscreen is more chemical. We're talking about oxybenzone, uh, avobenzone, octycrylene itself. Those are cancerous ingredients. What happens is the ray goes in and um, the sunscreen is sitting underneath your skin like this, waiting for the ray to penetrate. Once the ray penetrates the skin, the sunscreen takes the ray and what it does, it, it holds heat during the process of neutralizing the ray itself yeah it, <laughs> so so it creates heat so with clients who already have these hyperpigmentation like mommy going on you know um we get more color and we don't want that <laughs> we definitely i know you don't even like it when you have these tiny little freckles i call it freckles but but it's um, so annoying yeah but what it is is it holds in heat and if you're prone to melasma hyperpigmentation it will increase it um and then you know ladies we go to the spa the med spa the dermatologist to get all these uh treatments and then we put a lot of uh cream on our skin to prevent the hyperpigmentation but once the ray touches it and we put the sunscreen in and sunscreen in effort of neutralizing the ray itself is creating heat and further exacerbating the hyperpigmentation that is something that's undesirable but the thing that really concerns me uh, and for my children and for you guys is that uh, not only is it creating heat but during the process of neutralizing the ray itself it is creating free radical which is not good because we know free radical that's why we have antioxidants and we eat all the good stuff greens and dog stuff um the antioxidant will come back to free radical because free radical leads to disease disorders cancer remember <laughs> one thing that we're focusing on again that sunscreen really yeah. brings yeah so so sunscreen is very very um important but you need to know if you're actually applying a physical sun protection or a chemical sun protection and nowadays it's hard to know if it's physical or chemical because they all call it sunscreen is because it's something that we can relate to it's just a word that we all know but what further really really concerns me is that um, sunscreen not only does it create free radical but putting it on your skin within hours it gets into your bloodstream immediately and once that's, it gets into that's your why you just have to put on layers and layers every each hour because it keeps on soaking in and yeah that's what really causes cancer 
Yeah, but uh, but actually, what happens here, baby, is what? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. What That's actually, a twist. <laughs> so what actually happens is okay. Remember, mommy says that um, the sun protection. Once you put the sunscreen on, it gets underneath the skin and it sits there waiting for the ray to come in, right? Mm -hmm. So once the ray comes in, it creates heat. And heat is not so great for the skin underneath. And then it reduces, it produces free radical, which is uh, linked to disease, disorders, cancer, and so forth, right? And furthermore, once you, the minute you apply it, it not only sits on the skin and sits underneath the skin, it goes straight into the bloodstream. Oh. And FDA studies have found that in the bloodstream itself, it is affecting the reproductive system, the hormones, and in children, yeah, not so good for you, baby. I'm not gonna go any further, I don't wanna scare you. So it's just not good for you. <laughs> so our mommy's very proud that you actually put sunscreen on Yay! every day. But we, we don't actually block. put sun, yeah. Oh, you're ahead of the game. <laughs> That's and a little teaser for you guys. It's so, so, it's so, so what I actually put on my child and my children are not sunscreen. It's called sunscreen, but it's called, it's actually sunblock. So what you want is, of course, to avoid the oxybenzone, the, the avobenzone, and the um, octocrymine, because those are cancerous ingredients that go straight into the bloodstream. What you want is a physical sunblock, which is titanium dioxide and zinc. Um, I know it's titanium dioxide and zinc. We tried so many, um, so then they can see here. We tried so many from the market, from the mom's market, Whole Foods and so forth. And it's just white and pasty and so undesirable. <laughs> smell great and so forth and mommy how many has mommy tried like uh, i don't even know because i love you so much that i've used basically any organic one that i can find on the market with great ingredients i tried on there already um so it's really really hard to find any that would actually give the kind of and to kind of like blend in yeah it doesn't and you guys don't it's like it it's so pasty. hard to wash off too right in the shower it wasn't fun whatsoever yeah. but you need that protection and mommy refused to put in cancerous ingredients mm -hmm. for you so we've been looking all around and we found um came up here this is actually very different from your typical it is still titanium dioxide um zinc you see there is some color here and then we have one that uh, doesn't have that's completely white with uh, mm -hmm. that's not tinted but what happened to it grace do you use it <laughs> you yeah it <laughs> you and your brother use ours so we can't even show anyone anything here but look at that look at my i put so much on and look nice and sheer and it's nice and smooth and it smells good so show them the toe <gasps> Big difference. Okay, so um, so there. That is that. Uh, ingredients wise, it is aloe. It has a hyaluronic, vitamin C, E, and all the fun stuff. That's great and nourishing for her skin because, and it smells delicious. Because you deserve the best, right, baby? Because yeah. whatever we put in our skin, and so goes, do your babies. <laughs> so whatever you put on the skin goes exactly. It's just like eating. You don't want to put junk on your body. So, mommy. Is the white one giving me the same protection as this one? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you know what? Um, because it's titanium and zinc, it is giving you that protection itself. It's just not, you know, you don't like it because it's so white and pasty, and, and you can't and you can't wash it off well. As this one, it goes on really, really well. The reason being is. Um, it's, it's the particle itself. We have tit a titanium dioxide. All it is is crushed rocks. So and we have something to say that either one of them, you're going to have to wash them really good off. Yeah, you have to. But but this one is more nourishing for the skin, mm -hmm. right? Because it has really great and ingredients. And, but um, but the thing is, uh, what is the main difference and how why it took mommy so long to find this one is because everything out on the market right now is just titanium dioxide and zinc. And the particle is this big. We have a particle like this big. So it's just crushed rocks on your skin. Oh. But it's good because it's providing okay. you physical sunblock. So it's good. It's good. I was thinking um, it's just like dirt rocks. Well, it's clean. It's, it's okay, titanium. It's, it's a natural element. So it's good for you. So, but it's just this big. The particle is this big and it's sitting on your skin. So, of course, you're going to see that white and pastiness and it's undesirable feeling wise, right? But uh, the one and that. looking wise. Yeah. The one that we have and when we went and looked so much for you, we found it's micronized. So, what we're doing is. 
you know, as we age, uh, not as we age, but why not take advantage of technology, right? So this is called micronized technology. So they took what is this big, particle-wise, <laughs> and they went, good job. <laughs> I already <laughs> had it. Yeah, you know that already because I told her, but they don't. So I'm gonna, um, so it's this big, right? And then when you micronize it, what do you do? You break the particle down to a yes. smaller size. So then you don't see the white in the paste. And it's, but it's still there and you have that protection. And I got what micronized is because it's just speaking in micro is tiny, so. There you go. But be be warned though, you know, be warned. When you go to the store, you see that the sunscreen um, products are saying not mic uh, not nano. Non-nano, non-nano. And what does non-nano mean? Non-nano is, uh, remember, we have a particle, right? Mm -hmm. The zinc or the titanium that's giving that nice block. But we don't like it because it's white and pasty and yucky, right? And hard to wash out. So using uh, technology, advanced micronized technology, you break the particle down much smaller. So it's now sheer, tr transparent, and it's beautiful. Nano is means you broke it down really small. So now it's harmful because it can go Underneath oh, your skin into... If it's yes. too... So basically what I take in, if it, it's too small, then it can like travel all the way through, which is not Yes, good. so that's why you don't want nano. Nano is not good. But I, I mean... Nano was good since it's like the micro is... Like, what, you think about computer and, and other stuff. Yeah. I'm well, thinking about microchips. <laughs> but... Uh, cookies. What, you want big cookies? I'm thinking about chocolate chips. Well, yeah. We can have some of that later if you want. Um, but with that said, that is that. If you want to um, know a little bit more about uh, the UVs, we can go into that. Should we go into that? Um, yeah. 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 We should go into that. Um, so if you want to know about more about the UV, because you know, everyone's like, put it on your sunscreen, put it on your sunscreen. I hate it. I hate but it when we need to put on sunblock. <laughs> I know. <laughs> You know, Papa, you know, everyone tells you, but they never tell you why, right? What is so harmful? Mm -hmm. um, so there is three different rays out there. There's UVA, UVB, and UVC. UVC we do not have to worry about because UVC does not penetrate through the atmosphere ozone. So we are good. <laughs> so all we need to really, oh, I know, I'll wipe this off for you later, baby. So all we really need to worry about is UVB and UVA. Actually, only about 90% um, of the UVB is actually absorbed and by pen can't penetrate through the ozone. So it's only that 10% that really gets to us. But UVB um, is, um, is a wider, wider wavelength. So it gets into your skin, but it only passed through the epidermis, so the top layer of your skin, enough to uh, create damage where you will get uh, that burning, that redness, the irritation, the hyperpigmentation. But um, but my main concern is more so UVA. UVB, let's remember it as, what does mommy teach you? UV burning, right? Once you feel that burning when you're outside, you know that you got too much sun and you didn't put enough on. So that's called UV burning. And something to say about this sunblock, I've been kept on um, feeling it because it feels so soft. Because <laughs> you haven't, you forgot about how this one felt, right? Yeah, it's so sticky. I know, but still, baby. Okay, let's get back to this. <gasps> it's starting to blend in, actually. <laughs> A little, but look, it's still white and pasty. Okay. And mommy's been working so hard on it to get it off. I'll wipe it off for you. Okay. Okay. So UVB itself is UV burning. And remember, mommy says when we're outside, mm -hmm. we do not want to be outside like at 11 a.m. to 3 p.m. because that's when it's peak and at the highest um, point and you feel the burning more. I remember in summer one time when we were playing with a few neighbor kids, um, we were just playing like from eight o'clock to all the way to like three or four. Mm -hmm. And I remember coming inside, I was like, ah. <laughs> well, you didn't felt it when you were outside playing, right? Yeah. But, I was, I was home so that day, daddy was it. home. I might have to have a talk with daddy later. <laughs> but uh, UVB is for UV burning. Once you feel that burning, uh, you know you have a little bit too much. So stay remember away from, the B. Yeah. So stay away from the sun from 11 to 3 or make sure you really protect every part of your body or stay underneath the shade, wear a hat and so forth or clothing, protective clothing. Um, the one that mommy's really, really concerned of and the reason why I'm concerned of is because you can't feel it. It's called UVA. UVA is a longer um, wavelength. So the UVB only passed to the uh, epidermis. UVA actually goes all the way down to the dermis. So what's happening there, we call it UV aging. You can't feel it, you can't see it, 
it's not peaking at 11 to 3 it is from sunrise to sunset it's there cloudy day rainy day it is all there the main concern is because it's so far down it is affecting your dermis where the collagen and elastin is once your body picks up that you have that uva there which you will get exposed to it if you don't have proper protection the body release something called tavazane triggering to ask uh -huh. just for a quick second is what is the difference with like what even is the epidermis and what is the dermis <laughs> okay and the dermis the epidermis is the top five layer of your skin so that's where the cells are actually making replication of itself and then um so as reproducing yes it's reproducing and these you have nice plumpy cells depending on how healthy your cells are it kind of moves up the layer and as it moves up it kind of uh flattens out and eventually it flakes off the skin so, so that's, that's where you get that skin dead cell. skin cells yes but just like on daddy's feet oh don't don't talk about that <laughs> <laughs> so uh, but the thing is um more with with the dermis itself is further down so we have the the capillary unit the blood flow everything where they're actually doing replication of the cells and what's important is inside the cell there's something called the nucleus in the nucleus there's dna code and when the uv hits the dna code what do you think happens oh, there's so dna damage so and then the cells do not know that it's damage. It constantly making not healthy cells, but damaged cells. So it basically damages over time. Yes. Where? Why do you think there is the skin? It, you you lose. Um, of course, you get have wrinkles. The, you lose the collagen, the elastin. As you once, age. Yeah. So not as you age. When the ray hits it, you just lose <laughs> it. <laughs> I thought you just. Well, you just go like. But uh, when the sun hits with the UVA, the body releases, automatically understand what's happening, it releases uh, collagenate and elastinate, which is completely different from collagen and elastin. Those go in and break your collagen and elastin, which is nice uh, and tight, and then everything just falls so down. So you just sag? Yeah. But more, more important than the vanity part of sagging is that it's not healthy for your cells to, to you to have DNA damage. It's just not healthy for the cells to make replication of damaged cells. Not healthy at all for your overall health. And does the the white pasty um, that would off, give, that would that give, still give you protection? Yeah, that would give you protection. It's just that's why mommy put it on you, but you just didn't like it because it's so white and pasty and it's gooey and okay, it's hard to wash off. And a second, I thought that um, the like you know the white pasty one would be like uh not as much of pr protection as that or is it equal um well it's ow is very different the one that we carry and i feel like that's thicker and that's thinner yes much that's much thicker and thin. it all comes down to quality of ingredients baby it's like you can have a bag of chip or some nice beautiful fruits <laughs> on your skin which one do you want to digest um, the fruits <laughs> exactly and i don't know that tastes was, better i don't yeah i don't know why that came up but um and that is that i guess um later on what we can go into i know you have questions for me but we can go into what you can actually do to help repair those damaged cells already because mommy's my age and i know that when i was younger papa which is grandma didn't put anything on me and we didn't really know anything we were out in the sun uh, i mean mommy didn't get burned that much because um you know of my complexion my fitzpatrick scale but um yeah we can go into that so i hope you enjoyed today's video and beautiful grace here who's helping me out thank you grace thanks for hanging out with mommy yeah, <laughs> this is what quarantine would do to you right <laughs> yes because you're so around the people you love you're just gonna go like ah! Alrighty, so thank you so much for tuning in and if you have any questions whatsoever, let us know. Uh, subscribe, give me comments, questions, and I'm here to She's help. happy to take it. <laughs> Since this quarantine is so boring her, she's been like laying down on the couch. So. I know, and a lot of my clients, a lot of mommy's clients have been reaching out and asking a lot of questions and I'm like, you know what, what is mommy supposed to do? Yeah. I can't get like, email one at a time. It's just better just to shoot out a video and, and have them go, hey, go check out this video. <laughs> but if it can help um, more people out there that are not mommy's client, that'd be great, right? Because mm -hmm. that's what we're here for, to help one to another. To educate. Yeah, to educate, help one another, and serve one another, right? Because that's where you find full joy. <laughs> well, just like, 
just like um one more last thing the full joy part uh-huh. just like i was like i had these two like so I had a bunch of birthday presents at my birthday party one time and like mommy told me like, oh, why don't you give this away? That'd be nice. And I was like, uh, <laughs> You were younger back then, so it was like, harder. It was like four or three years old and I was like, eh. And then when I actually gave it away, I felt like the real joy. But at that moment I was like, eh. Yeah, but this is much easier too, right? Much, mm-hmm. much easier. And you know what? Thank you so much for sharing, sweetheart. I love you. I'm very proud of you. (laughs) Well, thank you for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Bye.